my name is Birdwin, and today we are talking about rigging. Well, more about deformers, but deformers are used a lot in rigging, so, you know, deformers. Are you sometimes on a rush to create an envelope deformer on something? And, you know, you're you're just grabbing your um, rigging tool, going through your tool properties, choosing the thing, and then you're like, oh my god, luck is ticking, I have to do this, it takes so long, ah! And then, you know, your deadline is over, and then you crash, and you burn, and you cry. So say no more, I have a very cool trick for you. Instead of tracing your envelope, which is always a very important skill to have, I'm going to show you a cool tool that you can use to create your envelopes. So I'll say it again, it is important for you to understand how an envelope works and what a deformer is before you try that, okay? It's like a reward for when you learn how to do things, okay? <laughs> also, the envelope creator tool is not a perfect tool. It's kind of like a hit or miss situation. Sometimes it's amazing and sometimes they're just like, how? So it doesn't replace a good brain. <laughs> But even if it misses, you can still kind of move the points around once it's done. So I think it's a good starting point, even though it's not perfect. To use the envelope creator, all you have to do is click on your shape. But then instead of going to the deformer tools, what you're going to do is you're going to go to animation. Then you're going to find envelope creator. And you're going to press on create envelope. And then you have this little window that appears. It looks a lot complicated and I do recommend you checking out the documentation for that tool because then you might learn a few things, but I'm just going to give you the basic, basic gist of it. So that's my shape. That's my envelope creator thing. I have to guess like how much points I'm going to need. So if I write four and I press create envelope, it's not very accurate, right? So I'm going to control Z. I'm going to use like a, a little, little trick. I'm going to count like one, two, three, four, five. And maybe I want one on each end of the flower star thing I have here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I cannot count in English. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need ten little deformer points. So I'm gonna write ten. Okay, so now I'm just gonna walk you through the different little things here. So to do this, I really recommend checking the documentation. So you have the, I mean, the deformer points is just how much you want. So that's pretty easy. But then you have the discrete spacing. Um, it's the scale at which the envelope creator analyzes the drawing's detail. So if you put the lower setting, it will cause the shape of the envelope to match the contours of the drawing more closely. So that's something you can try. You also have the concave smoothing. So how much is it going to optimize like these kind of deep hole spaces? So if you put the concave smoothing, it's going to prevent diving to these areas. But if you remove the smoothing, it's going to really, really go into the nook and crannies of your shape. So that's what the concave smoothing is. You also have the smooth path. So the smooth path tries to give you less points and less like things to play with. Uh, so it's the, so the, the smooth paths are the amount of smoothing applied to the corners and angles in the shape of the deformer chain. So, you know, if you don't have any smoothing, it's going to be very, very precise. And if you put the smoothing, it's going to be a bit more approximative. But sometimes this is better. It really depends on the shape. Expand. Expand the outer shapes of the envelope. This ensures that the contour of the artwork are inside the envelope instead of meshing with it. So sometimes you're going to have examples where you want the point to be a bit outside of your shape. This is true if you have like some textures or something going on. This could be good. I rarely use it, but you know, it can be useful. And then you have the bisect curves. From what I understood in the past, it prevents you from having too large of a gap between two points and it tries to kind of fill them up. And that's it. And then for the option, very easy, you have the envelope mode. So do you want it to be an envelope or a curve? It really depends on what you need. Uh, use all corners. So when enabled, this, this is going to ignore all the deformer points or parameter and it just creates deformation point for each corner of the envelope creator detects in the shape of the artwork. Then create single center line. When enabled, this creates a deformation chain that goes through the center line of the artwork instead of going around the outer contour. So. It's kind of like, do you want it to be an envelope or a curve, right? So, though I never use this because if I want a curve, I'm just going to trace it, let's be honest. Then you can also shape the points into the node view and you can optimize your handle so that they're not broken. They're going to be like very, very smooth. It just depends on what you want. This node is very important, so check it out. And uh, that's it. It's pretty, pretty simple to use, but I thought I would introduce you to it because it's amazing. All right, see you again next week. Bye-bye.